Hello YouTube, this is a follow up video to my earlier video about the tilt of Jupiter. I've had some requests to show um, another video uh, explaining about the tilt of Saturn which is basically the same, um, but I'm going to show a couple of different points in this one as well that I didn't cover in my earlier one. Um, I've actually got two windows open at the moment from two different locations in Starry Night. Um, as you can see this one is um, open to Madrid in Spain and I've got the time set to uh, 4 o'clock, um, that's UTC GMT on December 20. Um, so the important thing here is the actual time, 4 o'clock UTC, and then in the other window that I've got open, uh, where are we, this one here, we're in Sydney, Australia, and again the time is 4 o'clock UTC GMT on the same date. Okay, so I've set this up so that we're looking at Saturn, now in the case of Sydney we're looking at Saturn, we're looking towards the west and remember that uh, Sydney is in the southern hemisphere um, so again uh, the, the planets, the moon, the sun appear to cross over in the northern sky um, from the southern areas of the um, southern hemisphere. So here we have Saturn, um, it's in the west so it's about to set and I'll go back to Spain, Madrid in Spain, which is in the Northern Hemisphere. So in the Northern Hemisphere, uh, the planets, the stars, sorry not the stars, the Sun, the Moon, um, appear to cross over in the Southern Sky, looking towards the South. Okay, so we've got Saturn here, unlike the view from Sydney, Australia, we're looking towards the East here, so we've got Saturn is just rising, okay. So I'll just flick back to the other one, we've got Saturn in the east uh, from Madrid, Spain and we've got Saturn in the west from Sydney, Australia. So what I'm going to do now is I'm, I'm going to zoom in on Saturn so that we can see the rings and see how, how it is positioned. So here we go, here's Saturn. So there we go, there's a whole bunch of moons around it, Saturn has, has quite a number of moons. Um, so we can see the tilt of the rings of Saturn as we view it here at uh, 4 o'clock UTC. Now let's go to um, Spain, Madrid, Spain, and again we've got Saturn in the east, we're going to zoom in again, and there's Saturn with the moons and the ring, okay so let's have a look and see how they compare. At the moment we're on the Madrid view, Spain, so let's go back to Sydney and we can see that the, the tilt is slightly different. Not only that, if I flick between the two, you'll notice that the, um, the ring that is on the close side, or the edge of the ring that is on the close side, in this view from Sydney, it is tilted towards the top of the picture, but from Madrid, Spain, it is tilted towards the bottom of the picture. Now why is this? Well this goes back to what I was saying in the earlier video that uh, down in the southern hemisphere where I live in New Zealand of course we all have to stand on our heads. Well not really but that's the joke that we often say you know when we're looking at the constellations or the moon, the moon appears to be upside down to people in the, who are used to seeing it in the northern hemisphere. If they come to New Zealand or Australia or anywhere in the southern hemisphere they look up at the crescent moon and they say hey the moon's upside down, it's the wrong way around and things don't look quite right and, and the, the moon and the sun and, and the planets are crossing the sky in the, uh, in the southern part of the sky, uh, sorry in the northern part of the sky instead of in the southern part of the sky as they're used to seeing in the northern hemisphere. So here we go, we'll just flick backwards and forwards so we can see the comparison between um, our view of Saturn. Now remember that this is at exactly the same time. The only difference is our location. We're viewing at the same time, same date, December 20, at 4 o'clock UTC, and the only difference is our location and, and that we're also in the northern hemisphere in one view and in the southern hemisphere in the other. Okay, so I'm going to do something else now, this is, I'll just zoom back out on this view so we can see where we are. Once again here's Saturn in the east, so if it's in the east the planets, the moon, the sun, 
all rise in the east, they travel across the sky and they set in the west. Well, at least they appear to, of course, it's the earth that is turning, which gives the illusion that they're crossing over the, in the sky. So here's Saturn in the sky, it's going to rise through the sky, cross over the sky. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to zoom back in on Saturn, like I did in the earlier video for Jupiter, and I'm going to advance the time so that we can see Saturn crossing the sky. Okay, here we go. So we're going forwards in time, you can see the, the time clocking over there now, 5 o'clock UTC, and you can see that the tilt of Saturn's rings are changing as it crosses the sky. Now we're actually getting into daytime now, so I'm going to stop it there. I'm going to zoom back out so we can see where we are in the sky. Okay, so you can see that we're uh, where are we? That's the south, southeast, east is there. We've got a bit of a fish eye view at the moment. So we've got Saturn there. I'm going to zoom back in again so that we can see the rings because we're going to do a comparison. So here is the view from Madrid, Spain at 7.30 UTC on December 20. Let's go back to our view from Sydney at 4 o'clock UTC on December 20. But before I do, just note the tilt of the ring there. Okay, here we go. Oh well, hey, Saturn has tipped on its side. This is what people are saying in these YouTube videos and posts on Facebook and on the internet. They're saying, look at this. Here's a before and after picture. Here is a picture of Saturn six months ago or whenever it was taken. And here is a picture that was taken last night and Saturn has tilted on its side. Well, it's nonsense. All it is is because... The image was taken at a different time of the of the night, or it was taken from a different location on the Earth, or it was taken months ago. You know the the difference between the current pictures and um, older pictures are because the position of Saturn has changed in relation to its uh, earlier position uh, in relation to the Earth. So back to, this is Sydney, Australia, this is um, Madrid, Spain, you can see that um, you know, we're looking at the same planet but just a few hours difference, 7.30 UTC on December 20 and 4 o'clock UTC on December 20 from Sydney, Australia. So again I hope that this has cleared it up. The other thing that has been raised is that the position of Jupiter's moons, and yes we're looking at Saturn in this case, but um, some people have pointed out that Jupiter's moons are in quite different positions to what they were, say, night before. Well, that's quite normal. If you go out and have a look at um, Jupiter's moons through a small telescope, say a 60 millimeter telescope would, would be sufficient, you'll see the four major moons of Jupiter as little pinpoints of light. Now, when you go out on, on one night, you might see three moons on one side and one moon on the other, or you might see two moons on one side and two moons on the other. Then you go out um, another night, and you might see four moons all on one side and none on the other. Or you might see three moons, and one moon might be hidden behind the planet or in front of it where you can't see it because of the, the light from, from uh, Jupiter. So there's no problem with the moons, there's no problems with the tilts of Jupiter, there's no problem with the tilt of Saturn, everything is quite normal. Please, if you see any of these crazy videos that say that Saturn has tilted or Jupiter has tilted or the moon has tilted because of Nibiru or because of 2112 or anything like that, it is all nonsense. Okay, I can promise you that. If you have any questions, please leave a comment or send me a private message. Or please check out my Facebook discussion page. Voices of Reason to Explain X. You can probably tell I'm getting a bit hoarse at the moment. It's been a long day and I'm pretty tired. But we'll do our best to catch up and uh, answer any questions that you might have. Thank you for watching.